Guys, I'm going to do a live, hopefully a live feed soon. So if you have comments, please leave um, a message in the live chat. Please check out my video on these paper cones made out of tissue. Um, not tissue. This is coffee filter paper. So there's a video I have and I have it under paper crafts. This is the uh, jar that I put the decoupage flower. I applied the second coat and then I did a new one out of a pickle jar. I also told you about these cans. So in these cans, if you have an event, you can put your little utensils for your event to give it a little rustic look. So you don't have to make a big investment in anything at this point. You can put your utensils in just jars, jars, cans. So, you know, things get expensive. You could do it an easy, inexpensive way. I like to say cheap. The other thing is if you have like these type of trays, you can of course do a major craft. Ooh, I went to stand up and I almost <laughs> fell back. Okay, of course you could do a major craft with it, but you could also just use it as a frame and put line it with cork board you know, you can get inexpensive cork. You don't have to get an actual cork board. You can just get cork from the store, line it in a tray like this, and just put it up on your wall. And let me just show you the, the back. So you could just kind of put it up on your wall. I'm just going to place it here for a moment. Um, you could also use this as a display for like your, um, these paper Christmas trees. They don't even have to be for Christmas. You can use it for other events. The last tip I want to give you folks, I know the camera's kind of jittery because I'm sort of <laughs> trying to film this quickly, is this vase came from, I think it was like a flower order or something, but it gets a little bit expensive if you don't want to, you know, invest in more vases. Just use your jars. And the other day I showed you folks how you can take a bigger jar. We all have these bigger jars from, sometimes you get spaghetti sauce, you get um, pickles, you get different different things have these jars. Just take it and use it instead of getting a new vase. I showed you folks in a previous video about using, this was a, sa um, a seasoning jar, how you could just use it and put your own custom seasoning and give it as a gift. The last thing I wanted to tell you is check out my video on how to make jute uh, art. These are bamboo plate holders, you see that? But these could be used as art. You see a lot of really expensive designers using these on the wall, so they put it on the wall and then they nail it. Just get something like this. I don't even know how much this was, but it wasn't really expensive. You might even see it when you're doing like flea markets or something, or at party stores. And you could just kind of get your own inexpensive um, art or you can make take out take a look at my jute art video and you can make your own so it's not really expensive it's easy and I'm sure you guys can come up with other ideas the last thing I want to tell you folks is that I plan on uploading more videos about this they said this was happening to me since childhood I'm I am completely amazed that that would this would be happening to me since childhood when I feel as sick as I do. I feel so sick and I don't know how anyone with a conscience could do this to any human being, a grown 48 year old woman, let alone a child. They said that they, they beat me. And if they're saying this to me right now as a 48 year old that they beat me, could you imagine saying that to a child? They, they said, this is like being beaten. Can you imagine beating a child like this? I'm limping around, I don't feel well. Other people who are going through the same thing are expressing the same feelings. And I can't imagine these people with children. So the other last thing I wanted to say is they accuse me of not being honest when I promote my articles or when I promote my videos. When I promote my articles, and when I promote my videos, I usually say more information. Here's a, here's an article about it. And before this happened, I wasn't on camera as much as I am now. Pretty much I wasn't on camera because I wanted to be private. And I used to write under S.J. Johnson. And then I would sometimes write under different names so that I wouldn't so that I wouldn't have a stalker situation. So I can tell you that much, that the stalker situation did not come from me, my online writing. 
that's how I know it was this group of people. Had it come from my online writing, because I, you know, like most people who try to keep their, um, their names out of their writing because they want to have a private life. I told you in a previous video, I work for companies where I have to interact with the public. So I could not represent a company and write certain things. And that was part of why I use a pseudonym. But if you Google Shamiga Johnson, it comes up under SJ Laurel. I actually had that name in the 1990s and ended up meeting somebody with a similar name, which is just in insane. But there's so much about how these people interact that I want to, I want to expose. I've never known a group of people who fight so hard to make me look like a criminal, make everything I do look suspicious. I sent a tweet out the other night where I quoted them as saying, that move makes you look sneaky. That's what these people think about me, that they think I'm sneaky. Somebody who has spent my life in the same place for 48 years is a sneaky person. And that's the tone they take when they interact with me with this whole stalker system. So I wanted to warn you that there are people out there who have the means and the resources to make you look sneaky. And this goes back to what I'm telling you folks with this book. The implication with this book is that something about me is sneaky. Something about me is untrustworthy, unlovable, un desirable. And that's what I think I'm going to um, title this video. These people want me to feel undesirable, but I would like the world to know if you're going through the same thing, you aren't alone. They make a lot of people feel undesirable. And the goal of that, because going back to why they do it, they do it so that they can demean us and reduce our self-esteem enough that we will fall for their tricks, their schemes, and their scams. So thanks for watching. I'll upload another video soon.